Let us take the first model from this topic where we shall solve some basic questions from permutations. That is nothing but arrangement. We know that the number of arrangements or number of permutations of n objects taken r at a time is given by n p r which is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial. So let's understand where and how to apply the formula n p r. The first example here is in how many different ways can five persons stand in a row for a photograph? In how many different ways can five persons stand in a row or in a line such that their photograph can be taken? Before solving any question, we first need to decide is it a permutation or a combination question. And that can be done by checking whether the order or sequence is important or not. So let's see whether sequence is important in this question or not. Now as you can see, there are five persons here. Let's say the five persons are A, B, C, D and E. And these five persons have to stand in a row or in a straight line. So let's say these are the five positions. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now in how many different ways can these persons stand in a row for a photograph is the question there. Now if you try to understand if first position is taken by A, second position is taken by B and C, D and E. That is one way in which the photograph can be taken. But when first position is taken by B and second position is taken by A and remaining positions taken by C, D and E respectively, that comes out to be a second way in which the photograph can be taken. That means very clearly when A is in first position and B is in second position, that is one way of taking the photograph. But when they interchange their positions, though the persons remain same, the photograph is considered to be a different one. Why? Because the order in which the persons are standing has changed. So very clearly in this question, the order in which the persons are placed in these five positions is important. And hence we can say that this is an arrangement based question or nothing but a permutation. And number of permutations is given by NPR. NPR is equal to N factorial divided by N minus R factorial. Where N is the total number of persons and R is the number of persons taken at a time. Now in the given case, we have total 5 persons and all the 5 persons have to be arranged. That means N is equal to 5 and R is also equal to 5. So we can say that the answer here will be 5P5. That is number of permutations of 5 persons taken 5 at a time. That means all the 5 persons have to be arranged. Now 5P5 will be equal to 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 5 factorial. That is equal to 5 factorial by 0 factorial. And hence this can be taken as 5 factorial. Why? Because 0 factorial is equal to 1. So an important point that we can see here is 5p5 is equal to 5 factorial. That means if r is equal to n, then npr can be directly taken as n factorial. So one important point here is if r is equal to n, then we can directly say that npr should be equal to n factorial. So we need not take it as n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. Simply we can understand that it is going to be n factorial. For example, 12p12 will be equal to 12 factorial or 8p8 will be equal to 8 factorial. Why? Because denominator will have 8 minus 8 that is 0 factorial or 12 minus 12 0 factorial. So this is one very important point that if r is equal to n, npr will be equal to n factorial. So the answer for this question is equal to 5 factorial that is equal to 120. So we can say there are 120 different ways in which these 5 persons can be arranged in a row for a photograph. So that is how we can apply NPR to get the answer for number of permutations. But now let us see the other way of solving this question. Here we have solved the question with the help of the formula that is NPR, N factorial by N minus R factorial. But how to get the answer without using this formula? That can be done with the help of the principle of multiplication. We know that if one action can be done in m ways and the other action can be done in n ways, then both the actions together can be done in m into n ways. So let's see how can we get the answer using the principle of multiplication. If you observe here we have five persons a, b, c, d and e and there are five positions 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now let's start with the first position. This first position here can be occupied in five different ways. Either A can come or B or C or D or E can come. That means there are five ways in which the first position can be filled. Let's say D has occupied the first position. Now the second position here can be occupied in four ways. Why? Because already one of the person has come there in the first position. So now he cannot come in the second position again. So we have only four choices left for the second position. So second position can be filled in four ways. Let's say C has occupied the second position. 
then the third position can be filled only in three ways. Why? Because there are only three persons left out. Let us say E has occupied the third position. Then fourth position can be filled only in two ways. Either A can come or B can come. Let's say A has occupied the fourth position. So this can be filled only in two ways. And then last position can be filled only in one way. Why? Because only one person is left out. So that person has to come in the last position. So we can see that first position can be occupied in five ways, second in four ways, third in three ways, fourth position in two ways and the last position only in one way. And since this arrangement is to be done at a time, we can say that all these actions are being done together. And going by the principle of multiplication, we can say that if one action can be done in five ways, other in four ways, then both together in five into four ways. And likewise, it can be extended for more than two actions as well. So this all together comes out to be 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, which is nothing but 5 factorial. Why? Because this is the product of first 5 natural numbers. And 5 factorial is equal to 120. So as you can observe, that is what is the answer that we have got with the help of formula. So whether we use the formula NPR or we go by this principle of multiplication, we get the same answer. But then this way of solving the problem here is important because in certain questions from permutations, conditions are given and those conditional questions cannot be solved directly with the help of formula. There we need to go for this way of solution. So the answer for this question is equal to 120. So this is how we can solve a very basic question from permutation. Either we can use the formula NPR that is N factorial by N minus R factorial or we can use the principle of multiplication to get the required answer. And the important point that we have seen here is if R is equal to N, then NPR will be equal to N factory. Similarly, let's say that only three positions are available. That means there are five persons, but then photograph has to be taken only of any three of them. There can be only three persons in a photograph. So in how many ways can the photograph be taken? There again, we see that total number of persons are five, but positions are only three. So here we need to do the permutations of five persons taken three at a time and that can be done using NPR where N is equal to five and R is equal to three. So we can say that the answer is five P three which is equal to five factorial by five minus three is two factorial. So five factorial is 120, 120 by two factorial is two. This comes out to be 60. So there are 60 ways in which three positions can be occupied by any three of the given five persons. And if we try to solve the question using the principle of multiplication, we can see that first position can be filled in five ways, second position can be filled in four ways and third position can be filled only in three ways, similar to what we have done in the previous case. Now, since all are being done together, five into four into three should be the answer. Five into four is 20, 20 into three is 60. So this again gives the answer as 60. So for all these basic questions, we can use any of these two methods to get the required answer. Let us now take the second example from the first model of permutations and combinations where we shall take up a very commonly asked question in bank exams. Let's look at the question first. How many different words can be formed using the letters of the word banker? So here we have to form all the possible words which can be made with the help of the letters of the word banker. Now as we can see here we have got six different letters B, A, N, K, E, R. So we need to form all possible words using these six letters. Remember friends, in such type of questions, we have to use each and every letter and only once. That means all the six letters must be used in forming a word and there should not be any repetition. All these words can be used only once. And as you can see here, while forming a word, again we have six positions. So one, two, three, four, five and six positions. Why? Because there are six different letters. Now six letters, all six have to be arranged in such a way that we can get various words. Remember this again comes out to be an arrangement question. Why? Because as and when the position of the letters changes, the word also changes. So we can say that this is a permutation and number of permutations is given by NPR. Here N is the number of letters that is six letters and R is also equal to six. Why? Because all the six letters have to be used in forming a word. So we can say that the direct answer here is equal to six P six which we know should be equal to 6 factorial. Why? Because whenever R is equal to N, NPR should be taken as N factorial. That is what we had learned in the previous example. So 6 factorial is the answer. That is nothing but 720. So 720 different words can be formed using the letters of the word banker. Again, if we try to solve this question without using the formula, that is with the help of principle of multiplication, we can say that the first position can be occupied in 6 different ways. That means there are six different letters. Any one of these six letters can come here. So we have six choices for the first position. The second position can be filled only in five ways. Why? Because already one of the letters has occupied the first position and that letter cannot be used again. So now we have only five choices for the second position. 
Then for the third position, we have only four choices. Likewise, three, two, and one. So altogether, we get six into five into four into three into two into one, which is again nothing but six factorial comes out to be seven twenty. So again, we can see that the question can either be solved using the principle of multiplication or with the help of NPR, that is. 6p6 which is equal to 6 factorial. So 720 different words can be formed using the letters of the word banker. Likewise for a 5 letter word, let's say the word is watch, the given word is watch. How many words can be formed using the letters of the word watch? We find that there are 5 letters here. So 5 letters and 5 positions will give us 5 factorial words. 5 factorial is nothing but 120. So whatever be the given word, simply count the number of letters where each letter is unique and arrange them in those number of positions. So 5 factorial for a 5 letter word, 6 factorial for a 6 letter word and so on. Let us now take the third example from model 1 which is based on arrangement of digits to form a number. The question here is how many different 4 digit numbers can be formed using the digits 1, 2, 3, 6, 7 and 9. So as you can see here we need to form different 4 digit numbers. So we have got 4 positions which have to be occupied and there are total 6 digits available. One, 2, 3, 6, 7 and 9. So with the help of these 6 digits, we need to form all the possible 4 digit numbers. Remember friends, again in these type of questions, when he says we have to form a 4 digit number or a 5 digit number using the given digits, each digit must be used only once. There should not be any repetition of the digits. For this question again, as and when the order of the digits in the 4 digit number changes, the number also changes. For example, 1, 2, 3, 6 is one arrangement where the number is 12, 36 and 1, 2, 6, 3 is another ar arrangement of the same digits but the number is different. Now it is 12, 63. So very clearly, as and when the position of these digits changes, we get different numbers. So order is very important while forming 4 digit numbers and hence this comes out to be a permutation question that is arrangement. And we know that number of permutations are given by NPR. Here, N is equal to 6. Why? Because we have got total 6 digits. But we need to take only 4 at a time. So R is equal to 4. So the number of permutations or the number of 4 digit numbers that can be formed using these 6 digits can be given as 6P4, which is equal to 6 factorial by 6 minus 4, 2 factorial. 6 factorial we know is 720 divided by 2 factorial is 2 which is equal to 360. So we can say 364 digit numbers can be formed using these 6 digits. And again if we try to go by principle of multiplication we know that first position can be occupied in 6 ways, second one in 5 ways, third one in 4 ways and the last one in only 3 ways. So 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 should be the answer. 6 into 5 is 30, 30 into 4 is 120, 120 into 3 is 360. So 360 numbers can be formed using these 6 digits. Similarly, let's say we have to form 5 digit numbers. So there we can say that the answer will be 6P5. Why? Because we have got total 6 digits but only 5 have to be taken at a time. Or if we have to form 3 digit numbers, then the answer should be taken as 6P3. Why? Because total number of objects available are 6. But we need to take only 3 at a time for a 3 digit number. So 6P3 will give us the required answer. So this is how we can solve questions based on forming numbers using the given digits. Nothing but arrangements n p r n factorial by n minus r factorial. One very important point that we can observe from the various examples that we have discussed in model 1 is that objects can be of any type. For instance, in example 1, we did the arrangement of persons in a straight line. So there the object was nothing but the different persons. In example 2, the object was letters of the given word banker. And in example 3, as we can see here, objects are nothing but the digits which are used to form different numbers. So very clearly when we say permutations of n objects taken r at a time is given as npr, there the objects can be of any type. It can be persons, it can be letters or it can be numbers. Whatever be the type of object, the concept of finding out the number of permutations remains same. Either we can go by principle of multiplication or we can use the application npr to get the required answer.